everybody welcome back to my channel thank you for clicking on this video if you are someone who enjoys talking about film how about clicking on the subscribe button we are on day 12 you guys of my 13 nights of fright yes i'm gonna make it and today we're gonna be talking about Coraline Coraline is rated PG, came out in 2009. It is considered an animation family and it is an hour 40 minutes long. Now before I officially go into any further review of this movie, let me go ahead and address two things. I know I went one, but two. <laughs> PG. Why the hell is this movie rated PG? No. No. It should be rated PG-13. But the mere fact that we have this lovely character right here. I don't, I don't know why this would be like in a kid movie for PG. That's, that's like 13 right there. We're gonna get on to the family fantasy aspect of it. No, no, bitch. This should be like horror. Like horror family. Horror animation. And even my sister, she said that this movie creeped her out as well. And she loves horror movies. We're following Coraline. Coraline, not Caroline. Her family just recently moves to this house. She goes and likes exploring the neighborhood or whatever. It's kind of where we meet Why Born. Like, why were you born? I mean, <laughs> the fact that Caroline, Caroline, there I go, oh God, let her hear me. Coraline is like, why were you born? I mean, that's like a fucked up name, you guys. Like, really. But he... It's like a freaking stalker, you guys. I'm getting kid movie rated PG. And we had a freaking stalker. At some point, uh, Coraline actually ends up thanking him for stalking her. Let me, let me get professional again, you guys. It has a beautiful animation to start off with. Their choice of color is stunning. And the fact that they actually picked certain ways to shoot it. Being in the real world, everything is dark and gloomy and ugly. The only thing that really pops out is Coraline with, you know, her yellow coat, her blue hair. And that's really, really interesting to have, you know, to be seeing that, that everything is dark, okay, gray, gloomy. But then you have this, like, really nice pop of, like, I guess, sunshine in a way. And then we do get to, like, the alternate universe, the alternate world, whatever the hell it's called. And everything over there is, like, bright and joyous and, you know, preppy and shit. But, like, over here in this other world, these motherfuckers have, like, buttons but is that size okay so Coraline she is like a weird little girl because like she doesn't see like all these red flags because you think I'm gonna stay in the eat but if my mom were to show up with some damn buttons in her eye you better believe I'm gonna be running <laughs> like sister so mom with your mama come and get me <laughs> also the screenplay was really really nicely written the direction um it is stop uh stop motion I think it is that's what it's called and and there was I mean everything about it honestly was was filmed really really nicely the music choices were really nice also the opening scene for this movie was really interesting and creepy like we automatically start off with like a creepy scene with like the doll being made which ends up being like a doll version obviously of Coraline who Coraline a uh, decides to keep you know of course at the end we find out that the damn doll is like a spy for the other mother overall it's just such a creepy ass movie but it is beautiful to look at but it's creepy and it has some great music oh the movie is based off of a book that i believe had came out a couple years before the movie came out i don't i don't want to put a, a, a date randomly that but it did come out a couple years before it wasn't like not like an old ass book as far as i'm aware of but yeah i guess always correct me down below the only like real difference was that why born wasn't in the book which i guess technically we really didn't need him in the movie he's not really like a huge part of the movie but he is the most logical one because again Coraline does not seem to sense danger i mean till later on she senses it and then i'm just like bitch but why born no that's a smart kid he he's going places like he's gonna go and live and Coraline's gonna die but when Coraline is trying to tell why born like a whole plan of what we're gonna do was it a plan or he she was just telling him what was happening that motherfucker took off right and i'm like yep that's what i would do that would be right peace if you have kids of course you know what your kids can and cannot handle but um i i personally feel that this should have had a pg-13 rating um and i'm only saying that for those who like follow the rating systems because I think it's a little bit too intense for little kids to be honest with you because this freaked me the hell out freaked out my sister and again my sister likes uh scary movies I still go back to this lady right here i still can't believe that this lady when i saw her pop up on the screen i went 
this is a kid movie right these are all my thoughts on Coraline um with that I'm gonna actually go ahead and give it a very creepy large popcorn rating because you know I don't want the other mother coming after me for giving it anything less than that if you have seen Coraline what did you guys think about it did you like it did you love it did you hate it was it just not for you let me know down below did this movie creep you out the first time that you've seen it have you seen it multiple times is this incorporated within your halloween rewatch uh, do you watch it with your kids how old were your kids when they first watched it did they creep out did they have nightmares let me know down below <laughs> of course before you guys click on this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet we have one more day left in this series and quite honestly it's going to be the only day for what I want to do, which is going to be kind of different from what I'm doing right now. I'm going to be a day late, more than likely. I feel like the 13th video is probably not going to be posted until the 1st, to be honest with you. So I guess I technically almost made it, and I could have made it, but then I decided to do something different. I guess I'll see you guys on the 1st if I, for whatever reason, can't get uh, tomorrow's video up tomorrow. I'll see you guys next time <laughs> to finish off this series. Bye!